Welcome to the video covering section 1.5. You should be on pages 17 and 18 in the green packet which I have given you in class. Section 1.5 covers describing angle pair relationships. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn some of these special angle relationships and use them to find angle measures. We're going to start out with some vocabulario, some vocabulary in Spanish, complementary angles, are angles that sum to 90 degrees. Remember, sum just means add. So two angles that add to be 90 degrees. So an angle that's 30 degrees is complementary to an angle that's 60 degrees because they sum to 90. Supplementary angles are angles that sum to 180 degrees. So an angle that's 60 degrees is supplementary to an angle that's 120 degrees because they add to be 180. Adjacent angles are just angles that share a side. Remember that the side is the ray. So if I have this angle here, those two rays are the sides. Now if I pick this side, I draw another angle here. I say that these two angles are adjacent because they share this side in the middle. Okay, that was a little bit of vocabulary. Now we're going to do two examples. Example one, it says the measure of angle ABC is 23 degrees. Find the measure of the angle complementary to angle ABC. Okay, complementary angles add to be 90. So if I take ABC and I add its complement, which is what I'm looking for, I should get 90 degrees. So ABC is 23. The complement, I don't know what that is, so I'm going to call it X. Those should add to be 90. I'm going to continue up here. If I subtract 23, I get X to be 67 degrees. So the angle that is complementary to ABC is going to be 67 degrees. Now find the me measure of the angle that's supplementary. Supplementary angles add to be 180. So if I take ABC and I add the supplement, the sum should be 180. So I'm going to take 23. This time instead of X, I'm going to call the supplement Y because these are two different angles. They add to be 180. Okay, subtracting 23 from both sides, I get the supplement to be 157 degrees. You have to make sure that you always put that degree sign because angles are measured in degrees. Okay, so let's move on. So looking at example two, it says LMN and PQR are complementary angles. Find the measures of the angles if LMN equals 4X minus 2 and PQR equals 9X plus 1. Okay, so complementary angles, remember, sum to 90 degrees. Right now what I would like you to do is pause the video and try this one on your own. Use the fact that the complementary angles sum to be 90. When you're completely finished, come back and watch the video and we'll go over it together. Okay, so that should have been enough time for you to try this one on your own. I have two angles that are complementary, I mean, which means they sum to be 90. So that means angle LMN, when I add angle PQR, I should get 90. Okay, well, I'm told that LMN is 4X minus 2. So I'm going to have 4X minus 2. PQR is 9X plus 1. I'm going to add them and set them equal to 90. Finding like terms, 9X, 4X and 9X gives me 13X. Negative 2 and positive 1 gives me negative 1. Adding 1 to both sides, I get 13X equals 91. So continuing, I'm going to rewrite that. 13x equals 91. Divide everything by 13. I get x equals 7. Okay, but it says find the measures of the angles. So right here, find the measures of the angles. That's what the actual question is asking. So now I need to substitute back in. So then the measure of angle LMN is going to be 4 multiplied by 7 minus 2. So 28 minus 2. So angle LMN should be 26 degrees. And then the measure of angle PQR is going to be 9 multiplied by 7, add 1. 
9 multiplied by 7 is 63. Add 1 is 64 degrees. Okay, checking my answer. I know that these are complementary, so they should sum to be 90. 26 add 64 is 90. So I checked my answer. That's good. So hopefully you got that one right, or if you got it wrong, you now understand what you did wrong. Moving on, a few more definitions. A linear pair are two angles that are adjacent and they are supplementary. Okay, so hopefully you have enough room, but this is what a linear pair looks like. We would say angles 1 and 2 form a linear pair. They're adjacent because they share this side, and then they are supplementary because they add to be 90. Because I'm sorry, because they add to be 180. Supplementary is a straight line. So I have this straight line here, which means their sum is 180. Okay, vertical angles are, I'm going to call them opposite angles. And I'm going to draw an example because that is not a very good definition. Okay, so this is how we see vertical angles. The ones that are opposite, so these two are vertical angles. So angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical. Angles 2 and angle 4 are also vertical angles. Because they are also opposite. And then the ones next to each other are a linear pair. So 1 and 2 are a linear pair. Two and three are a linear pair, three and four are a linear pair, one and four are a linear pair. They all share a side, and then they're next to each other, they're supplementary. Okay, one special note. Vertical angles are always congruent. They always have the same measure. So if angle 1 were 90 degrees, angle 3 would also have to be 90 degrees. If angle 1 were 10 degrees, angle 3 would also have to be 10 degrees, because they're congruent. So that was page 17. I now need you to flip the page to page 18 for me. Okay, so looking at example 3, it says two angles form a linear pair. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a linear pair. Okay, so they're supplementary. They form a straight angle, and they share a side. It says the measure of one angle is five times the measure of the other. Okay, so if I'm going to call this angle x, the other angle is five times the measure. So this one will be 5x. And then it says find the measure of each angle. I'm going to stop right now. I would like you to do examples three and four. Just take about three or four minutes and see what you can get done with these two examples. Pause the video. Come back when you are finished, please. Okay, finishing example three, we have two angles that are supplementary. They form a straight angle, so they're going to add to be 180. So I have 5x add x equals 180. So I have 6x equals 180. Dividing by x, I mean, I'm sorry, dividing by 6, not by x. Sorry, okay, there we go. Dividing by 6, we get x equals 30. Okay, but it asks us to find the measure of each angle, not to find x. So one of the angles is just x, so one of the angles is going to be 30 degrees. The other angle is 5x, so 5 times 30 is 150 degrees. Now, doing my check, if I add them, they equal 180, which is true of a linear pair. So my answer is correct. Looking to example 4. It says angle 1 is 80 degrees. Find the remaining three angles. Well, 1 and 3 are vertical, so they're going to be congruent. If 1 is 80 degrees, 3 also has to be 80 degrees. Next, I notice this right here is a straight angle. That means 1 and 2 are supplementary. So if I take angle 1 and I add angle 2, I should get 180 degrees. Angle 1 is 80 degrees. Angle 2, we don't know. If I subtract 80 from both sides, I get angle 2 is equal to 100 degrees. So angle 2 is 100 degrees. Next, I know 2 and 4 are vertical angles. So if 2 is 100 degrees, 4 also has to be 100 degrees. So hopefully those two went well. If we made a small mistake here or there, 
That's okay, as long as we now know where we made that mistake, so we don't make it later. Moving down. Okay, today what we talked about in this video was using special angle relationships to find angle measures. So we talked about supplementary angles, complementary angles, linear pair, adjacent angles. So you have this problem right here to do for tomorrow. If you have any questions, please bring them in. It says angles P, H, S, and G, E, O are supplementary. If P, H, S is 2x plus 10 and G, E, O is 4x minus 28, calculate the measure of G, E, O. You need to use the fact that these angles are supplementary, which I'm going to remind you means that they sum to 180. Start by finding x and then use that to find the measure of angle G, E, O. Good luck.